and say hi to the camera. Are you going to say hi? Hey guys, welcome to another Life of Bliss. Uh, this whole last week I have been trimming out my entire basement, trying to get everything ready to paint. Um, I moved a little slower just because this little guy wasn't feeling too well all week. So I had to take care of him, but uh, anyways, I got everything primed and almost all of it put up, so check it out. Got all of the trim reprimed and moved back inside here. So next time we get a few things up and then we'll go ahead and get started installing the trim. When laying the trim down on the concrete, I'm gonna be using some sheetrock that I've cut into little pieces here to space it off the ground. Uh, these are half inch thick. So you want that trim just a half inch off the ground so the carpet can tuck underneath and so it's not sitting on the ground if there's any moisture or anything like that. So um, the way I'll be laying the trim is going around and doing all the doorways first. So I'll go ahead and go around my doorway casing, leaving a half inch space off the bottom. And then from there, I'll be able to make my uh, length cuts against the walls there. Um, so yep, we'll start on the doorways and then move on to the uh, bottom baseboard there. inside the office. Very minor gaps up there in the corners. When you fill them in it will look like that. And then we'll go over it with just a little bit of 220 sandpaper to uh, smooth out the edges and it will be ready to paint. So after a little practice, it only takes about 20 minutes to complete a full doorway or, you know, the two outsides here. And my joints are a lot tighter. So after a lot of uh, test cuts and things like that, I was able to get this room completely trimmed out along the bottom. I'm going to be redoing one piece right over there, but I think it's looking pretty good so far. These little gaps will be filled in with some caulking. Um, they're very, very small gaps, so those won't be too noticeable. 
Yeah, it takes a lot longer to get these angles exactly correct um, using what they call a T-bevel, which is right over here, I'll show you, to get the angle that the wall is or the corner is, something like this here. And then what I'm doing is I'm throwing it up on my miter saw, figuring out what the angle is and doing a little math and uh, getting the angle that I need to cut the boards at for that uh, corner. So it's taken a lot of time. I'm not going to be videotaping a lot of this because literally it's just me measuring something, going back to the saw and making like five, six cuts per corner just to get it the exact right length that I need it to be. So not very entertaining. What I'm going to be doing right now though is cutting out the jam for this door here. Um, and what I've done is I've just taken a piece of plywood. I butted it up against the wall and made a pencil mark over on this side for the top left and right sides. I've, saw, I've seen how uh, deep it needs to be and I've measured the lengths. So we'll get that cut out. I'm just going to be using some poplar board and we're going to prime that before putting it up on the wall there. We're just going to use a roller. We're not going to spray it. Um, sand it down, throw it up there, and then we're going to throw some trim on the outside edge there. So we'll get that done and then that will allow me to continue doing the walls out here because I'll need to know how far the distance needs to be uh, before I can make those cuts. So we'll get that going and continue on from there. For the door jam here I was able to take my router and give it just like a eighth inch round over and her trim will butt up just like that and look like all the other doors. here so I can go ahead and do the rest of the walls but as you can see I just took the 16 gauge nailer nailed my one inch poplar in the side here and then came back with some shims just to close up this gap in the corners so you won't need too much caulk besides right there in the very corner and uh, got everything trimmed out so something real quick on the stairway here so these little edges here were a little tricky but I found the best way to do those is to go ahead and measure your space in between your trim and the wall and cut your, your angle and then cut the length and do that small piece first and then you can adjust your angle and, uh, and length and everything on the side piece. So you put those small pieces in first then you continue on with the rest of the pieces and you can see there's no nail holes in those down there. Um, I just used a little bit of construction adhesive and got that uh, placed up against the wall there. Um, just because it's so small that a nail is probably going to crack the wood and not really hold it that well anyways. So a little bit of adhesive in there is going to hold it just fine. Alright, so just a quick tip for doing all this stuff. Um, obviously I'm not coping the edges whenever I'm doing this, I'm just making miter cuts. And I found the best way to do that is I'll have test pieces and once I get everything fit up I'll just write so this will be a 45 degree angle with no bevel on it. Um, this down here you know I'm test fitting these I'm getting a near perfect joint down there with almost no gap at all. Then I'll come up this is a 46 degree cut on this side this is a 46 degree cut with a one degree bevel at the top to bring the top in just slightly. So that's how I'm making these cuts. Um, all these scrap pieces are just coming in handy for being able to fit everything up correctly. So when it comes time to caulk, there'll be very little that it's actually filling in and it's gonna just look nice and crisp and clean. Um, so yeah, it's taking a lot of time, but that's what it's taking just to get these perfect corners when doing only miters with a little bit of beveling.
So really the only thing I have left to do for the trim is to get these half walls capped and uh, primed ready for paint. I know how I'm gonna do them. It's just now getting the material and uh, next, next week that I have off from work, I'll go ahead and get those ready. And I should be able to get all of that primed up there and get all the trim painted then. So if you guys like this week's video, um, hopefully he will be feeling better this next week so I can get some more stuff done down here. But uh, be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to check back for more updates on the basement build. Hey buddy, you did a good job. You gonna say hi to everyone? Or are you gonna smile for him? Can you smile? Look at that smile. <laughs> You're a little wheezy, but at least you're happy.